Listen to me. Think about this. There has never been a war fought on our shores because we're not, we're not better, we're not smarter. Every European nation has blood on its hands. Why? Because of the way they treated the Jews. I remember asking God, why would you use a bunch of Aussies to liberate the city that Jesus... You know, you could have used, for a start, is that right, there were 11 crusades? Is that right, Napoleon launched an army, Napoleon loved the Jews. He said, sons of Israel, come home to your native land, 1796. When we take the city of Jerusalem, we'll re-establish the modern nation of Israel. But he was, his fleet was sunk at the Nile. Again, for hundreds of years, the city that Jesus is coming back to is ruled by Muslims. But in 1914, the First World War broke out. We were 13 years old as a nation, traditionally when Jewish boys become men. Can I have an amen? amen. In 1917 would be a strategic battle over maybe who would control the Holy Land for the next 100 years. And so 60,000 British troops with tank support tried for three days and eventually got in, but and they were kicked out again. And so after three days of hard fighting, General Allamy comes to, uh, to General Shaw Bell from northern New South Wales and says, if we can't take those wells by tonight, we'll lose thousands of horses, we'll lose hundreds of men. Horses that have not had water for 72 hours. I love Shaw Bell. He says, give us our, get off our back and give us a go. And so the fourth and the twelfth light horse make a charge of 800 across six kilometres of terrain. Already ensconced in their, in, in their, in their trenches, 4,700 4, enemy troops. General Chauvel said, we'll probably lose every man in the first 10 minutes, but we're desperate. They make the charge, they lose 32 men. And they take the wells. And General Allenby said, either this is the greatest victory of the war, or this is God. Hello? I like to share that. I like to talk to the young people. You know, what can we learn from our Anzac forefathers? The hand of God's on our nation. That same spirit that was on those men is on you. That same blood flows in your veins. Is that right or not? If God can save our nation once with the Anzac spirit, he can do it again. Our nation's not under threat of invasion, but it is under threat. This could be the generation that loses our Christian heritage. And if we do, as I say, the first thing that will go will be our families. Do I lie? You can see what's coming down the road. Same-sex marriage. The first thing that will go will be our families. The family is the very cornerstone of our society. Whatever way this is, the marriage goes, so goes our nation. And I, I believe, anyway, I might be a nut, but I'm a passionate nut. If you've got to be nuts, you must be passionate about it. <laughs> Hello, don't shake my tree. I'm happy. But, I, you know, I, I love that. And as I say, you know, the, just think about it. The Jews have never lost or sold their heritage in 2,000 years without a country. I love that. Passed on, you know, my grandsons are here, but they know about the light horse. My grandsons uh, have marched on Anzac Day with their great-grandfather's medals, not because I wanted them. That's what they wanted to do. Honouring, is this correct or not? Hello? No, that's not glorifying war. That's giving honour where honour's due. 